Football is about balancing emotions and nerves with sportsmanship, but sometimes the latter gets thrown out of the window when players lose their nerves and unprofessionalism takes over. Today, we'll be counting down moments where players humiliated and dominated their opponents, pushing the boundaries of respect, and leaving the world in disbelief. Starting off with an incident that will go down as one of the darkest events in the history of football. During the final of the 2006 World Cup, Zinedine Zidane, one of the game's greatest, was all set to play the last game of his career. It all happened after Zidane gave France the lead in the most audacious fashion and Italy equalized. During extra time, Zidane was jogging past Matarazzi. Heated words were being exchanged and then it happened. Zidane was sent off. He paid the price for his unprofessional act, and so did France. Next up is another great player whose acts don't go well with the spirit of sportsmanship. Luis Suarez was caught multiple times biting his opponents. Psst, they would have been better to subscribe to our channel. During a heated argument in the match between Ajax and PSV, Suarez bit his opponent's shoulder out of nowhere. That was not the only incident. It was the match between Liverpool and Chelsea. Luis Suarez lost the ball to Chelsea defender Ivanovic and not being able to control his temper, Suarez bit his opponent's arm. The third and perhaps the most infamous Suarez biting incident took place in the match between Italy and Uruguay when Suarez bit George Collini's shoulder from behind. Well, that was not the only display of unprofessionalism by Suarez. During the 2010 World Cup quarterfinal against Ghana, Suarez deliberately stopped the ball with his hand from going into the back of the net. Ghana was pushing hard on extra time and pinned Uruguay into their half. It was in that moment of defensive desperation as the game built to its frenetic climax, Suarez stopped the ball with his hand and proved that he'd do whatever it took to win that match. Despite Uruguay winning that day, critics believed it was a poor display of sportsmanship. Coming up next is another unsporting moment in football, a reckless tackle from Manchester United's Roy Keane that almost ended the career of City's Alf Ing Holland. The incident was fueled by the players' vendetta as both clashed before in a match that left Roy Keane injured. Four years later, that fuming anger boiled over at Old Trafford. Holland went past Keane and Keane came flying towards Holland, lunging in a fierce tackle on his right leg. That could have ended there, but it got more disrespectful when Keane leaned over him and allegedly said, take that, you. Pepe's violent kicks in a match against Catafe were probably the worst unsportsmanlike gesture ever. In a match between Real Madrid and Getafe in 2009, Pepe pushed Javi Casquero and committed a foul. But what he did later was shocking. He kicked Casquero twice while he was on the ground and punched another opponent. Later, he was given a 10-match ban, but how reckless and disrespectful was that? El Clasico has witnessed some of the most brutal attacks and nerve-wracking battles. It was common for players of both teams to lose their composure and get involved in disrespectful acts. During the 2012's El Clasico, Messi was brought down by a Madrid player in the 67th minute. Pepe looked down, saw Messi's hand, and intentionally stamped on it. This was unprofessional at its worst. During the 2010 El Clasico, Barcelona secured their emphatic 5-0 victory over Real Madrid even before the halftime whistle and the frustration was clearly visible in the Los Blancos camp. Right before the halftime in that match, as Messi was running past Madrid players, Lasana Diara and Sergio Ramos violently tackled Lionel Messi from behind. That was clearly an intentional nasty tackle. How about this one, where David Villa pulled Arbeloa's shirt and Arbeloa in turn stamped on his leg and pulled him up holding his collar. Things escalated quickly and both teams got into a disrespectful fight. Also, who can forget Ramos's two-footed lunge on Lionel Messi in 2017 El Clasico? In the 77th minute of the match, Lionel Messi received the ball from Barcelona's end and was just about to take the sprint when Ramos came rushing towards him with two feet. It was Messi's luck that it avoided serious contact, or else things could have been worse. Next up is one of the most disgraceful moments in football where Eric Cantona made history with his infamous kung fu kick on a Crystal Palace fan. After being sent off, Eric Cantona was fuming and was heading towards the dugout. 
Crystal Palace fans were not making it easy for him either. After the continuous booing and taunts, Cantona couldn't hold on to his nerves and leaped into the crowd, kicking a fan. It left the whole world stunned and he was given a nine-month ban. Another such unsporting gesture was seen when Patrice Evra kicked a fan during Marseille's Europa League warm-up in 2017. According to Evra, he was not even in the starting 11. The fans were booing and whistling their players and he went there to calm them down. But the fans were disrespectful towards him and even called him a monkey. Finally, when a fan threatened to hurt Evra's family, he couldn't hold back and he kicked that fan in the face and punched another. This was absolutely despicable from both ends. The quarterfinal of the 2022 World Cup between Argentina and Netherlands showed just how intense a match can be. Right from the beginning, tensions were rising and heat was building between both teams. After the Netherlands equalizer, Paredes committed a nasty foul on Nathan Ake and blasted the ball into the Netherlands bench. Both teams got into a serious fuss. Passion and ill feelings continued long after the final whistle. Veghorz was waiting for Messi in the tunnel to shake hands and settle things down, but our boy Messi seems to have ignored him and they both got into verbal arguments and Messi said that infamous If you've made it this far, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up. Up next is an intense match between USA and Mexico in the CONCACAF Nations League semi-final. After Balogun won the ball for the US, Mexico's Montes kicked him from behind out of frustration. Things escalated quickly and both teams got into a horrendous fight. McKenney's shirt was torn apart and four players were sent off. Things didn't also go well when Usman Dembele returned to face his old club FC Barcelona. After leaving the club after years, fans were ready to give Dembele a hostile reception in a Champions League clash. The match took an unexpected turn when Ronald Araujo was sent off for a tackle from behind. Coach Javi couldn't hold back either when the ref called for another foul. He kicked the boards beside the dugout out of frustration and was also shown red. And apparently, Usman Dembele was seen clapping and having a good time seeing his former manager and club suffering. That left the Barcelona fans furious. And they let that anger out every time Dembele came near the sidelines. I mean, you definitely expect your former player to respect you and the player does too, shouldn't he? Cristiano Ronaldo has always been an example of sportsmanship for holding up the spirit of the game. But there were moments when the GOAT also lost his cool. After a loss to Everton, Ronaldo was making his way into the tunnel in frustration and knocked a phone out of a fan's hand. That was not the first time fans questioned Ronaldo for his unprofessional acts. In the last minutes of a match against Serbia, the referee gave a decision to Portugal's favor. Ronaldo was furious and walked off the pitch throwing the captain's armband. Many fans called it out as an unsportsmanlike act. Look at this clip where Ronaldo slaps an Irish player. He places the ball to take the set piece, but the Irishman seems to have another plan with it and kicks it away. Silly. In the second leg of 2024's Champions League semifinal, Vinicius Jr. showed an impolite gesture towards Joshua Kimmich. In the final minutes of the game, Bayern was desperate for an equalizer. After Madrid won a throw, Kimmich quickly took the ball and gave it to Vinicius. But he acted like he didn't even see the ball. After that, Kimmich retrieved the ball and put it right on Vinicius' chest. But he took it and left it on the ground again. Despite his amazing performance throughout that match, this act showed just how unsporting things can get in the final minutes. Vinicius Jr. got involved in another disrespectful incident in a Champions League clash against Red Bull Leipzig. He scored the key goal in that game but was lucky enough to not be sent off after an altercation with Willy Orban, pushing him in the throat. See how the Europa League clash between Manchester United and Barcelona hit the boiling point midway through the second half when De Jong was brought down by Von Bissaka and Bruno Fernandes powered the ball right into De Jong's stomach. Both teams got engaged in the confrontation. It was definitely a nasty display of unsporting gestures by Bruno. How about this unprofessional act from Leipzig players against Real Madrid? Raheem Diaz was clearly injured and was requesting a stoppage of play while he was in possession of the ball. But the Leipzig players shamelessly took advantage of the situation and initiated an attack. Fortunately, Lunin made a crucial save. 
but this left Tony Cruz furious, leading to an argument between him and Leipzig's Idera. Things got heated between Teo and Dumfries in the Milan derby as both players shared some intense tackles months ago. After Dumfries tried to win the ball with a dangerous header, Theo took his revenge by holding him from behind and taking him down on the ground. But it got more unsporting when Dumfries mocked Theo with a disrespectful picture after the match. Next up, we have Kai Havertz, who was running for the ball against Porto and the ball went out of the ground. He could have let the Porto manager receive the ball, but instead decided to get into an altercation by pushing the opponent's manager. What a poor show of sportsmanship. Next in line is an ugly challenge from Bruno Guimaraes on Ian Matson of Chelsea in the Carabao Cup. Chelsea players reacted immediately and Guimaraes was shown yellow for his reckless behavior. Here's another disrespectful incident involving Ronaldo. In a match between Manchester United and Aston Villa, the Red Devils managed to win a penalty. Emiliano Martinez came forward and told Ronaldo to take the penalty kick. But it was Bruno Fernandes who decided to step forward and unfortunately missed the penalty. Martinez didn't let go of that chance to mock the home supporters with his moves. That isn't something new for Martinez either. He was heavily criticized for his unsporting and too many lewd gestures in celebrations before. Up next, we have Neymar, who got into a fight with Lille player Thiago Jallo. Both players were shown red by the ref, but it didn't stop their heated confrontation. Afterwards, Neymar and Jallo got involved in a clash in the tunnel and both players had to be separated. Some players hate being substituted before making an impact on the game and react unprofessionally to their managers. The same happened in the case of Tottenham's Rodrigo Bentacor. The player couldn't hide his emotions after being taken off against Manchester City and kicked the bench furiously. He definitely wanted to do more. In a match against Brighton, Anthony was caught in a tackle but was not given a free kick. He couldn't hide his frustration after that and kicked McAllister on his leg. How unprofessional was that? To wrap things up, we have a bonus historical clip for you of the great Maradona. In the 1986 World Cup quarterfinal against England, Maradona scored one of the most controversial goals with his hand of God, and it went down in the history books as an example of poor sportsmanship. From heated arguments to reckless challenges, these acts are examples of how emotions can get the better of anyone. But football is not about winning only, it's about how you play the game. Hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content.